Today, we're going to be talking about why when it's at the end of the word or syllable, did you know it can make I or E the sound, but how to tell? Well, you can show them this fun key here. I tell them if Y is the first vowel, then guess what? You change that one into an I, so it will say I. If it's the second vowel, write the number two, it will change into the E sound. And how you find the E on the two is see the straight line, turn it into an E. If it's the third vowel, it will say E too, usually, and you want to take the straight line, change it into an E. If it's the fourth vowel, it can say E too as well. So take the straight line, turn it into E. Now let's go ahead and count the vowels. So this is the first vowel and this is the second vowel. So why is the second vowel? So we change it into the E. That's how we get crispy. Now let's go ahead and decode this word. Here's the first vowel. Here's the second vowel. Here's the third vowel. Y is the third vowel, so change that into E. That's how we get nursery. Okay, let's do the next one. First vowel, second vowel, third vowel, fourth vowel. Four is E, turn it into E. That's how we get delivery. Okay, let's try this one here. First, second, third, fourth. We can do change it into the E, and that's how we get electrophy. Is that correct? It doesn't sound right, does it? So when it doesn't sound right, then change that four into an I, and that's how we get electrify. Hey, when, in, when it doesn't make a word, just reverse it. Okay, now if we get a word like this, we can count it one, two, but let's look and see. It is the second vowel, but we know it doesn't say E here. But look, you have to look at the syllable types. This is a vowel and a vowel. Those are vowel teams. Vowel teams live together, and this first vowel, it was a race, it got there first, so it gets to make the long sound. This is a race, this one was, so it doesn't get to speak. So that's how we get hey. So I, all you have to do is count to see where the Y is within the syllable. Just count and you'll have the letter. Make sure you follow me. I'm always finding fun reading and spelling tips to teach your student how to read and spell.